What did you just say to me? <laughs> that I'm concerned we're not going to make it to the hospital in time. Why? Because I've been having like early labor contractions for like four or five hours now. And then all of a sudden they really ramped up. Um, and I'm having a hard time talking through them now. And our hospital's 45 minutes away. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Said so it's been two minutes. So any minute now I'm going to get another one and then we can go. Hi, I'm in labor. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Um, we are heading out the door. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Hope they pick up. I only have two minutes until the next one. Hi there. I'm an expecting mom and I wanted to call you guys to let you know I'm coming in and I'm in active labor. And apologies if I go silent. I'm about to hit another contraction here. We are. We're about half an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> this is my second rodeo, so... It's probably gonna go a little faster. My first labor was only 10 hours, so. If they come back while I'm having other contractions. Yeah, I got it. Hello. Hi, this is uh, Megan's Hello, husband. So, Megan, are you on your, your way here? Yes. If you're on your way here, we're just gonna uh, welcome you come here, but uh, can you, uh, is that your birthday is February 7, 1996? Yes. Okay, all right, I'm gonna uh, prepare all those uh, Paperwork for you, just come in, okay? Okay, thank you. We'll see you in about right, 20. Thank you. Bye. Here we go again. Oh, it's so hard not to tense up. I'm like trying yeah. to stay loose, you know? I always complain. People always go down this hill so freaking fast, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So, just to catch you guys up, um, I started having really minor contractions about, what, five, six hours ago? We're at. Uh... Just about, yes, almost six hours. But they stayed stagnant and didn't get closer together and didn't get more intense for probably the first five hours. Um, and I wasn't sure if maybe they were just poop cramps because I was having some digestive issues, TMI, I know. And then Matt and I had some activities, adult time <laughs> to try to get things moving and things got really intense really fast. So in the beginning of my labor, I was... <laughs> I like went to the thrift store. It was like thrifting while I was in labor, which is very on brand. But now we are headed to the hospital, obviously. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have another contraction. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get to the hospital. How are you feeling, Daddy? I'm very excited. I was just thinking about Rowan and Juniper will be two weeks apart. And Juniper and Daddy <laughs> will be two weeks apart and two days. <laughs> it's okay, girl. I know it is, but I have to drive. <laughs> Nice close parking spot this time. Thankfully traffic was good because we're going the opposite way. We've got the affirmations going through the contractions and we're gonna go get checked in and see how baby girl's doing. Hi, uh, we're Megan and Matt Acuna. She's in active labor. We called ahead. So we'll open up the doors for you and just check in with us at the front end. but we're still in triage right now because they're trying to get uh, a nurse for us. Um, so we're getting all checked in and everything. Um, contractions are pretty strong right now and got a little bit of nausea going on. I'm um, giving counter pressure as uh, much as I can and you know, she's breathing through it. Uh, but it's, it's strong. She just measured at about six and a half dilated. Uh, so that's obviously progressed much quickly than, than the first time. So yeah, she's, she's bouncing on the ball and uh, hopefully we get into a room soon and we can get all set up. Hi guys, Hi. I'm Emma. Oh, nice to meet you. You guys started. Nice to meet you. Yes. What room are you going to? 42. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice and it's okay to get some of these lights on. Yeah. Do you remember, uh, this is your guys' room, okay? Putting our first yeah. plan. Awesome. Whenever you yeah. Do, we that makes all the difference. Wait till they get the vibes going. Okay, here is stem cell collection uh, for cord blood. Yeah. 
a boy or a girl at home? Boy. A boy? How old? He's two. Oh, best two friend. and two weeks. I'll say best friend Aww. because my brother got it. Thank We're you. We're so close. Oh, I love this. I want to feel strong and empowered for a birth experience. Well, thank you for letting me be a part of your birth story. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Fucking warm and dimly lit as soon as that IV's in. Yeah, of course. And I'm flexible on all this stuff. It's just it's preferences, but I know so of much course. that happens is out of our control. Yeah. So whatever you need to do, I of understand. Course. We'll always make sure that we, you know, tell you what's going on if there's any safety issues. Um, you know. But I appreciate you just being flexible and I always say what's flexible and see, you know, what you want to do. How close do contractions get like at the end? Um, pretty much, I would say about every two to three minutes. Okay, Last so this is as frequent as it'll probably be. Yeah, it looks like they're one, two, three, about three minutes apart. So, okay. yeah, it just might be okay. a little bit closer. I can do that. You're doing great with it. I would, it seems like you're getting more downtime. Yeah. Compared to two years ago. Yeah. There was kind of just one like constant contraction that is, constantly, like that for is ten hours. <laughs> I thought we talked about not having babies at night. <laughs> you said not in the middle of the night. No, so I'll try to get her out before then. Last time it was 9 p.m. and then baby was born at 7 a.m. So. I'm about to have another cervical exam. I'm really struggling. I'm shaking and just like, it's just really intense. I feel like because we didn't get into our room for a long time and I didn't feel like settled, it was just really hard mentally and I got kind of grumpy and so now I'm like not in the best headspace and I'm trying to be in a better headspace during contractions but sometimes I just feel like why am I doing this to myself? Like why aren't I getting the epidural? Um, but I know I'll be so proud of myself after so I don't know man. That's being awesome, as usual. If you saw the first birth vlog, you know. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared because it's already so intense and I don't know how far along I am. Yeah. But then, like, when they do a cervical exam, then your contractions hurt really bad after, and I'm scared of that, too, yeah. so. It's all gonna be worth it when I have her in my arms, but man. I just keep trying to tell myself I can do anything for a minute. Usually that's the max that they last. So she wasn't shaking so bad. Yeah. Okay, sense. help. So we just had another cervical exam, and uh, she said that she was at about eight. Whoop. Said she was at about an eight and at 90 percent and minus one. So that's really good. That's about an hour and a half, two hours progression from six and a half to eight. So that's really good. She's showing all the signs of transition. Um, otherwise doing really well. We're gonna try some hot packs and see how that goes. And uh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna be ready here before midnight. I'm, I'm placing my bets now, so uh, I have to check my phone. But <laughs> wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> I got this. Letting her know what you're doing. Yeah. She's having lots of shakes though. No bloody show, but. Ooh, okay. And then if you have a contraction, you let me know okay, because I'm going to do it in between. Okay. And then you'll need your um, panties off okay. because I'm not you know, Star Trek good yet.
I'll keep you updated. Yeah, yeah, it'll be very soon. I'll yeah, say. I don't think it'll take us. I think once that baby rotates, and then you could be in whatever position, but once you feel a lot more pressure, just let yes. me know. Because I think you will kind of also like involuntarily so, push, yeah, grunt, or you'll feel like, oh, something's coming. Then okay. you know, pressure will, yeah. Do you still want to go on hands and knees in a second? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to do hands and knees. So. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Your cervix is pretty much stretched as much as it could. I'm going to start feeling a lot more pain or discomfort. What do you recommend as far as a pushing position? Whatever you like, whatever makes you comfortable. How did you push this? Last time I actually pushed on my back. You did, okay. Um, which I wasn't expecting to do, but. How did you like it? It was it was good, honestly. Whenever you feel comfortable, we can try it. And if you feel like you're like this isn't it this time, then we could just flex and flow. Okay. Is that comfortable? Way out. 
Did I poop on her way out? <coughs> you did not. Really? <laughs> Darn it, my jokes. You, you just, <laughs> I pushed, what, three times? Not even. She, it was like, she wasn't she even push pushing. Push she didn't push. I wasn't pushing. My body was kind of pushing yeah, without see? me. Yeah, see? Your body just knows what to do. She's cute. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Hi, oh, my God. That's your daddy. Can you believe it? Daddy's gonna cut the cord here. Okay, baby. Okay, I'm ready. And then so right in between, right there. Right in between. Yep, right there. Here we go, sweetheart. You go. Perfect. Alright, And then we thank you. And then we do have the cord kit over there as well. Yeah, absolutely. I climbed up on the bed saying, "I think this baby's coming now." And then I looked, and there was the head. Yeah. That's what it is. My sweet okay. little Judy Mae. Who is that? Hey, Say hello. Oh, oh you are a cutie pie. <laughs> I know. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we always give some pills afterward just to get that yeah. nurse to Hi, Mama. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah, that, right? that really hurts, she's saying. It really hurts. Yeah, yeah. is there a way you could do it not so much with yeah, like the top, but maybe like a wider? Sure. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. We just want a little bit more. Yeah, I'm concerned too, so. I have a lot of thoughts that I want to share, so I'm sure I'll do that soon. But right now I wanted to update. Um, she, Juniper's doing good. They said her coloring and her oxygen levels are good, but she's not crying. She's just like super chill. She's crying a little bit here and there, um, but they're trying to get her to cry more so she can get all the gunk out. Um, and then I'm gonna get to breastfeed her. There we go. But yeah, and I didn't tear. So perineal massage for the win because last time I tore in two places. Yeah, I will update you guys more later, but I just wanted to say that. First time breastfeeding. And she's just like, it just happened to me. I'm just gonna take the hat off just for a second. Oh, how big do you think she's gonna be? Uh, seven or six and a half. Six point one four. Wow! Wow, she's teeny. Yeah, she is teeny. I just know I gained so much more weight than I did earlier. <laughs> so that was my guess because he was seven. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. See her right where she's at. It's right above the eyebrows, over the ears. Let me see, just to make sure. Sorry, Juniper. She's 19, exactly. Nice girl. Juju Bean. start filming again. Just falling in love over here. Daddy daughter time. She's way cuter than Rowan was at this, <laughs> at this stage in his uh, postpartum journey. Yeah, he took a couple of days to de-swell, didn't he? Yeah, she's already looking really good. Oh, sweet girl. She looks so sweet and peaceful and cute. Kiss her yeah. nose again. Oh, that just melts my heart. Oh, I see wee baby girl. Just an angel. Oh, she's moving. Okay. We're going to our postpartum room now. You're hungry, huh? Yeah. Not <laughs> you. We are in our little home away from home. It's 2.20 a.m. 
Junior girl's still sleeping. She's been pretty much out since you fed her. Yeah. Right? I might have to. Well, she's stirring. We'll see if I have to wake her to feed her again. Yeah. She's almost due for another feed. Um, around three, maybe a little after three, uh, Megan gets to have her freaking IV taken out. She's all wired up. And then she gets to shower, which she's definitely looking forward to. Yeah, so yeah. All of that jazz. Be in the real postpartum journey. Oh, let me show you my bed. Yeah, so that chair converted into a nice little bed. So I'm gonna try to snooze for 20 minutes or something like that, just until. So it begins. Yeah, so it begins um, until they come in to to take her and do her stuff. Um, her being me. Her. <laughs> you. Yeah, because they're gonna. They're not taking Juniper. No, they're not taking her. What are they coming in to do? They have to do another fundal massage. They'll take the hep block out, and then I'll get to shower. Oh. And they have to take my vitals. But yeah, Mama's feeling good. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little crampy, I think, just from, like, her sitting Yeah, on. six pounds, 14 ounces, yeah. sitting on your uterus. 19 inches long. 33-inch head. Or 33, uh, Centimeters. 33 centimeters. <laughs> I feel so much better with her than I did with Rowan, like, after. And I don't know if that's just because it was shorter um, and because I didn't tear, but I remember with him, I was feeling like super shaky and faint and like, it was fine, but like, I'm just starting to crash with the energy now, but I had just adrenaline yeah. from like, I mean, you saw literally it was like, Oh, Oh, she's coming right now. <laughs> and then when she was here, right. Here's some rest. Yeah. Good morning, family. YouTube family. <laughs> it is nine o'clock on Friday, July 15. Uh, we just slept for three hours, which is insane because we, we didn't get anything like that last time. We weren't able to like really get settled after her birth because we knew like we had to wait to move into the new room. And at that point they were going to unhook me from my thing, which I really had to fight for to get unhooked from my haplock. Yeah, they really didn't want to take her IV out. And then shower and all of that, so... You're doing amazing. Yeah, I feel great. Still. My, my booty hole is sore, but I mostly feel great. But, like I said, she didn't tear, so there's just, like... I feel like there's so much less healing. Yeah. I mean, you still have a lot to... I'm, you know, swollen and sore, but... Yeah, but you're not injured. Yeah, I don't have stitches poking at is me. Is the boy injured? Yeah, she's been sleeping for three hours. Yeah, she's she's been really, really sleepy and just chill. Like, she barely cried. Yeah, they were actually a little concerned when she was born because she just, like, didn't want to cry. But then they, like, checked all her vitals and her color and her oxygen and her lungs. And they were like... Everything was good. Everything's fine. She's just really chill. I guess usually as part of, like, the pushing process, um, it, like, helps baby, like, slowly kind of get ready to come out but it was two minutes if not even two minutes like she, juniper just kind of walked out yeah uh the um nurse that caught her was like you didn't even actually push like i never had a concentrated like, like yeah i just my body just kind of contracted her out and pushed involuntarily yeah. like what twice three times and two and a half like maybe <laughs> insane <laughs> so yeah we're gonna do a first 24 hours home with a newborn vlog of course so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're not already but that's gonna be the end of our birth vlog we got our little girl and many adventures to come but thank you guys for being on this journey with us and we love you and i can't wait to see you again so soon bye